Oh, hey guys. Um, long night. Anyway, um, I'm John, and I'm done going by Orco, mostly because, oh, well, it's time for a change. Um, I'm now referring to myself as the Geek. Not to be confused with every other geek out there, because there are plenty. I'm here because I just got out of a preview screening of the new Godzilla film. And I felt it needed a review. And there are going to be spoilers, but I will save them for the end of the video, and I will tell you before they come. Having said that, this movie was... And I feel I should say before I say any of this, this is my personal opinion. If you like or dislike the film, that's your opinion. And I respect that and understand that. I walked into this movie mostly thinking to myself, don't be another version of the 1998 film. And thankfully it is not. Uh, James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd, made two specific rules for a Godzilla film. He needs to breathe fire, and he needs to be indestructible. Now, without giving any spoilers, I can't tell you if this movie pulled that off. You'll, I'll tell you later when spoilers come. Um, having said that, too, this was a very, very surprising film. I very much enjoyed it. I did not see a lot of it coming. There were things in this movie I wanted to see, but I didn't realize I wanted to see it until I saw it. Um, a perfect example, and I don't think this is too big a spoiler to let out, but it might be a spoiler to some people, so just letting you know. You get kind of a close-up of Godzilla's eye. Like, they get close enough where you can see him kind of blink for a second, and I was like, wow, that, that looked like a real biological creature's eye. It didn't look like horrible CG. This whole movie was a very big surprise. I mean, everybody going into Godzilla expects to see giant a giant monster or giant monsters tearing up adding tons of property damage and this movie delivered in that account this was an incredible film being a big spider-man fan i hate to say it but i enjoyed this movie more than i did amazing spider-man 2 i admit i'm a big godzilla fan too and i was waiting for this film it blew me away here is the point where i'm going to start giving spoilers so if you don't want to hear any spoilers just stop this video right now if you're done with listening to me today Thank you for listening. I will talk to you later. Now, spoilers. Godzilla fights other monsters in this movie, and I don't think that's a huge surprise because if you look at every to any Toys R Us, you're going to see toys of the other monster. I think they called it a uh, MUTO, and that's an acronym for something. I don't remember it because I really was trying to focus. The biggest problem I had with this wasn't even really the movie's fault. It was the theater's fault. The sound was very, very loud, and that physically hurt at some point. And I got stuck going into a 3D showing because that was the only one they were offering, and the 3D was very unnecessary. It was noticeable if you focused on it, but you're not there to focus on the 3D, you're there to focus on the action. Saying that, I felt like I really needed to focus a little extra hard on the film to get past the 3D. So, Godzilla fights a monster, awesome, he's big, clearly, and you get to see, you see him pretty well when you see him. And the first, like, half of the movie, or at least third of the movie, is just build-up. You don't see him at all. And at the beginning, they're talking about, like, the monster is causing all these natural events or whatever. And w something I really loved, when they first introduced him, they referred to him as Gojira, which is the Japanese wording of it. Maybe it's a different word. I don't know. Godzilla, Gojira, it's... Honestly, to me, it's the same thing. But anyway, you find out pretty well into it that the monster they're following isn't even Godzilla. And that was a surprise to me. You knew there was other monsters coming into this, but to have the monster you're following end up not being Godzilla right away, to have the other monster show up before Godzilla shows up, I, I was very impressed with that. And um, there's a scene where the main character and Godzilla actually face to face. And I was expecting something in, a, in an earlier Godzilla movie where... The guy's like, yeah, you're, you're my buddy. And Godzilla just blew him away with atomic breath. This didn't happen here. I think I know why. But before we get into that, the biggest thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, they really pushed the idea of Godzilla being a good monster. And yeah, you're, both monsters are going to cause property damage. You probably accidentally kill people on route. I don't remember seeing Godzilla actually killing anybody in this film. He definitely did plenty of property damage, but that's because of his thunderous thighs. 
at the end of the movie, there's a scene where he gets up and people are cheering for him. And the news report actually says something along the lines of, we like you Godzilla kind of thing. I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not going to say where it is. But it felt out of place for me. Like, yeah, you can be like, yay, Godzilla, you saved us. But he's still breaking stuff. He's still stepping on buildings. I'm pretty sure a person or two got stuck in there somewhere. Why are you cheering for this guy? I mean, yeah, he saved this, the world and everything from a bigger problem, but he's still a monster. And I don't know, I don't go after him. I understand that part, but it, it was surprising. And I honestly felt it didn't need to be in there. Oh, one thing I should point out, you don't need to wait for the, tr the credits to roll. There's no end secret ending. There's nothing in there for that, so don't worry about that. Yeah, I honestly would give this movie a thumbs up. Go see it. If you're a Godzilla fan, you will love this movie. There's no doubt about that. Um, oh, one thing I did remember. Um, like I said before, those two rules, Godzilla's indestructible and he breathes fire. When I mean indestructible, I mean against the military. The military is never able to drop Godzilla, which they screwed up in the 98 film. They fixed it in this movie. I don't think anything military even came close to dropping him. I, I don't think he even felt anything from the military. And he breathes atomic fire, or fire breath, whatever you want to call it. And it was amazing. The first time he does it, you see the glow up his dorsal spine slowly growing up. And at first you don't even realize what it is. And then you see it trail up his spine. And halfway up, I'm like, oh crap, finally. And it's amazing. It, this movie was very impressive. Sort of above my highest expectations. If you're a Godzilla fan, you will love it. If you're not... You probably will also love it. Uh, go check it out. Have fun at the movies. I am going to sit and watch Godzilla vs. a guy again on Mystery Science Theater 3000.